Hey guys, we are in the numerical problems in geology video series and this video will be the class 6 and the topic is the structural geology and as we already made a video in this topic so this will be the part 2 of that video and the questions are from jam and gate and in this video itself I added a new component that is try it yourself that is at the end of the video I will be asking two questions from the jam previous year questions so you can just try it yourself and if you have any doubt you can just mention it in the comment section so we can solve it in the upcoming videos welcome to my channel success guru and myself panchanadan and let's get into the heading so the first question is from jam 2015 and the question number is 16 in an oblique slip fault having 30 degree dip the net slip is 10 meter at an angle of say 45 degree to the strike of the fault plane the dip slip component of the fault in meters so they had given the fault direction it is actually a oblique slip fault and there is a net slip component that are given and the pitch of the fault also given and what we are asked for is the dip slip component of that fault so let us recall this basic that is the dip slip strike slip and net slip component of the fault so if you remember there is an oblique slip fault uh, uh, block diagram that you can say so the block movement is say in an, an angle relationship with the strike and dip of the fault plane. So if you consider this fault plane, this will be the strike direction of the fault plane and this will be the dip direction of the fault plane. If the block moves along the strike direction of the fault plane, this will be called as a strike slip fault, right? And if the same block moves along the dip direction of the fault plane, then it will be called as dip slip fault, right? But this block moves at an angle, which is the pitch of the fault plane. That is also given in the question. So what we have to do is we have to calculate the dip slip component uh, from the given components, right? So let us see that this is the net slip, that is the direction of the moment of the fault plane, and the pitch is say 45 degree that is given in the question. And there is a dip slip component. So this line will be the dip slip component. Okay. Uh, that is a dip slip component that is given this image. So in the question they are given the dip of the fault plane, net slip and pitch of the net slip. And what they are asked for is the dip slip component. So as we know the relation between the strike and dip is 90 degree. So this will be the strike component, this will be dip component, right? So the angle between this is say 90 degree. So we can consider it as a right angle triangle. And when you consider this triangle as a right angle triangle, you can now apply all those uh, sine, cost and relationship. So the angle is given, the hypotenuse is given and they had asked for the opposite side. And as you know in trigonometry, the sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Here opposite side is the dip slip component and the hypotenuse side is the net slip component. That is what it is. So just we can substitute the values there. So we know the dip amount that is the pitch here. We don't know the dip slip component so we just keep it as dip slip and we know the net slip amount that is given at the question that is 10 meters. So we can also rewrite the same equation like this that the dip slip is equal to sine 45 into 10. So as 10 meter is in div division here. So if it crosses the equal, uh, equal sign then it will become multiply here right. So then sine 45 is 1 by root 2. So just substituting the value what we will get is uh, 7.071 and that is in meters. So the dip slip component of the fault is say 7.071 meter, right? Is that clear? Okay, let's go for the second question. Uh, this question is from say Jan 2016, that is from section C. The question is that as shown in the following figure, a vertical well intersects the top and bottom of an inclined bed at uh, 200 meter and 400 meter depth, right? Respectively. If the true dip of the bed is say 60 degree, and that is to the north, then the true thickness of the bed is dash meter. We have already made a video of this relationship in our uh, uh, free coaching classes for the JAM examination that, that is lecture number 4. I do have shared the link in the description just you can go through and check it. So if you just go through the video what you will get is the relation between the true thickness, vertical thickness and the dip of the formation. So in the question what they are given is the vertical thickness and the dip of the formation. Here vertical thickness is the difference between the height of the top and bottom of the bed that is say 200 and 410 so the difference is 210 meter so that will be the vertical thickness right and the dip of the formation that I had given in the question say that is 60 degree and what they are asked for is the true thickness okay 
so we can just solve this that the vertical thickness is 210 meter and from the video the relationship will say sin theta is equal to true thickness by vertical thickness that we get from the video that is in jam uh, free code coaching classes for IIT jam that is lecture number 4 right so just substitute the value that what we will get is true thickness will be equal to sin dip into vertical thickness so the true thickness is equal to sin 60 will be 1 by 2 and the vertical thickness is 210 so what we will get is 105 meter so the true thickness of the formation is 105 meter is that right okay so let's go for the next question so this question is from jam 2017 that is from section c question number is 51 a false surface in an outcrop has like and slice that is a lineation whose pitch is 30 degree the horizontal slip of the fault is say 1.25 meter as determined from the displacement plane the net slip of the fault is dash meters so this is also an uh, oblique fault so in this fault they are given the uh, displacement angle that is the pitch of the fault plane then the amount of displacement along the horizontal component and what they are asked for is the net slip right so a second slide is a lineation that is formed due to the fault block movement and it is also a direct indicator of uh, direction of movement of the fault block right so we had already seen something about the second slides in our recognition of fault video right so just go through it if you have any doubt so we'll just solve this question so this is also once again an inclined of uh, it is an oblique fault right so in this oblique fault they are given the pitch as 30 degree and they are asked for the net slip so the pitch is 30 degree uh, then the horizontal slip uh, say 1.25 so this will be the horizontal slip that are simply called as the strike slip component and we have to find out the net slip component and this line will be a dip slip which is uh, not important for this term right so in the question what we are given is the pitch of the second slide then the horizontal slip then the uh, what we are asked for is the net slip you can call the horizontal slip as strike slip there is no issue so we can just simply solve this question using the trigonometric function as it forms a right angle triangle here you can see uh, the field of interest is our uh, adjacent side and the hypotenuse side so in cos theta we had the relationship that cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse here adjacent side is the horizontal slip component or simply the strike slip component and the hypotenuse is the net slip side so we just to substitute the values here and what we will do is we just rearrange the equation so the net slip will be equal to 1.25 meter by cos 30 and as you know cos 30 is root 3 by 2 we can just substitute the values here and what we will get is 1.443 so the net slip of the fault is 1.443 that is in meters is that clear okay so let us solve the next question that is the dip slip of a fault that is the fault strike direction is say not due not that is say 0 0 0 degree that is what they had mentioned here the, so the fault is striking at north south and the dip of the fault plane is towards east and the dip amount is 30 degree okay and the dip slip component is say 10 meter assuming the slip equals separation here the throw on the fault is dash meter so what they are asked for is the throw so just to consider the fault section so this is the fault section as you know so this will be the throw that is the uh, vertical displacement amount okay so they are asked for the displacement amount they are given the net slip amount here this is the net slip right so the actual amount of displacement of the fault is say net slip and this will be the throw and this will be the heave so they are asked for the throw so this is the right angle triangle which we have considered as you know the throw and heave are perpendicular to each other so that will form a right angle triangle once again and the dip amount they have given the question itself so in the question what they have given is the dip slip along the fault plane then the dip amount and what they are asked for is the throw so as it forms a right triangle triangle we can just solve it using the trigonometric function here sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse the opposite side will be the throw side that we had mentioned already here and the hypotenuse side is the net slip side right so in the question net slip are given as 10 meter or simply the slip as 10 meter the throw we have to find out and the dip amount they are given here so just simply substitute and rearrange the equation so the throw will be sin 30 into slip 
as the sin 30 is 1 by 2 the slip will be 5 meter is that clear okay so these are some of the questions that i had solved for you and here is the triage vessel portion the questions are from jam 2019 i will try to explain you the question just try it yourself and give us the answer in comment section so the first question is that uh, the throw and heave of a bed offsetted by a normal fault is say 100 meter 200 meter respectively so they are given the throw and heave the dip of the fault plane is dash degrees and you have to round off the answer in one decimal place okay so consider this uh, fault block so as you know this is the throw side this is the heave side that we are already discussed and the dip amount will be this portion right so we are considering only this right angle triangle and as you know this is a right angle triangle uh, this will be the adjacent side this will be the hypotenuse side and here is the theta so we know the adjacent side value and the hypotenuse side value that is the he one so and we have to find out the theta okay so just recall some basic trigonometries and try to solve this question and if you have any doubt no problem just uh, ask us in the comment section we will try to solve in the next upcoming videos and the second question is that it is question number 50 is that a normal fault uh, displaces a sandstone bed such that the dip slip and strike slip components are 3 meter and 4 meter respectively then the next slip of the displacement is dash so we have already talked much about the dip slip and strike slip as you know dip slip uh, is the uh, what do you call it? the throw one here right you just recall this section so this is the strike direction so whatever it moves here that will comes under uh, throw and this will be here right so the next slip is the total displacement measured along the fault plane and that is called as next slip it is measured between the two point which were originally in contact so we have to calculate the next slip direction so this forms a angle triangle once again and according to Pythagoras theorem as you know the hypotenuse side will be equal to uh, square root of opposite side and the uh, adjacent side right so we can just simply write it as net slip square is equal to heave square plus throw square we have already used this same formula in our explanation in fault video just go through that and try to solve this question and one second if you have any doubt you can just mention it in the comment section you will try to solve it in the upcoming videos and I group my videos according to the category that you can check in the playlist. You can connect with us by mail, Facebook and Instagram and these are the links. You can support us by like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.